Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at uh, how to uh, set up an uh, order confirmation email for your system. Uh, now, the in Magento 2, uh, uh, on a website, it'll have a default um, order confirmation email that'll send out once uh, an order has been placed on the website. However, if there is uh, some of the text or something on there you need to change or um, make some, you know, uh, mild content adjustments. That's fairly straightforward to do. Uh, the first thing you need to do once you've logged into the admin area is go to the left menu to marketing and email templates. So in here, you've got a table where if you'd created any email templates, they'd be in here. But uh, since the uh, we haven't created any, it will just use one of the default ones in the back end of the system. So what we need to do is add a new template. And from here, what we what you'd want to do is load a default template. So there'll be a load of uh, the default ones that the system already uses. So for a new order, we'd want to go to find one of the new order templates, load template, and then this will pre-populate uh, the uh, email template with the uh, all the code for it. So what you want to do is then name it. So my store new order template for example uh, if you look at this obviously it's all in code so you want to be very careful when changing things because a lot of the elements like um, this will automatically put in the customer's uh, name and the order date so you don't um, so you want to avoid changing any of these bits but what you can do is look for these um, variables where it says trans and then it should next to it in quotes have the the uh the text that'll show in the email so if let's say i wanted to change this to um once your packing ship uh, once your package ships we'll send a tracking number if you didn't want that uh, that to say anything about the tracking number you just say once your package ships we we will drop um drop you an email email um, then you just have to change those uh, as I said just be careful with um, anything outside of the, that because it could be it's likely to be dynamic content pulled through um, it's also going to have some tables and things in there where it uh, shows what they've ordered and the costs and uh, things anyway once you've uh, made the changes Where, yeah, once you've made the changes, if you want to preview it, there's the preview template up top. Um, and once you're happy, just click Save Template. And then once this is saved, you will see your new template in here. Now, to apply this, you would need to then go to Stores and Configuration. Okay, so at the moment what we've done is we've created the email, but um, what we need to then do is apply it so that that's the uh, order confirmation email that's sent out when somebody places an order. So once the page is loaded, if we scroll down on the left, under sales, we'll go to sales emails. Um, and then at under the order, you'll see that the um, these are all the settings for the order email. So, in this case, under it says new order confirmation email template, we'd want to change this to, as you can see there, my store new order template. And then once that's done, just hit the save button, and that should then apply that as your new order email confirmation template. And that's it.